What is up ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel my name is Alien Oxy and today guys we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5 reveal. Now before I go any further guys please do hit this video with a thumbs up and please also do subscribe to the channel because every subscription and like helps this channel grow. Now for those of you who are not caught up due to obviously maybe family reasons, work and stuff like that, Sony PlayStation have officially announced the console and what it will looks and what it looks like. Um, so here is the picture of the actual console itself. Um, now obviously see, as we see there is two consoles. Um, I had anticipated this uh, but I wasn't anticipating a digital console. I was expecting more of a casual console for casual gamers and a hardcore game console for hardcore gamers. Kind of like how Apple does the iPhone and then the iPhone S, kind of whatever, whatever number is coming out. Um, so the, I'm guessing the digital version will be cheaper because it's more of a digital download on games, whereas the console with that takes this will obviously take a little bit more price. It's just due to the fact that you have to install the hard drive, the disk drive itself. Um, what I personally like about the console itself from a designer aspect is that's what I majored in was graphic design is the fact that they've used a two-tone color which is white and black. Um, obviously as well it is shaped in the essence of a V. Now it's very subtle. Um, it's very subtle and a lot of people won't get this because not a lot of people do not a lot of people know Roman number Roman Roman numerals. Five in Roman numerals is actually a V, as you can see. Uh, which is what the console is in itself is actually um, representing. Um, what I like about the console, this particular for the PS5, is that it decided to break the, the wall in terms of uh, limited your design. Um, we've seen that from previous consoles with the PS1, PS2, except the PS3 and the PS4 that was all box shaped. And I kind of found that to be somewhat lazy. Um, now the PS3 was the exception simply because it was an oval, it was different, but it didn't do great just due to the fact that Sony um, priced it nearly 600 euros and a lot of people were kind of very turned off by it, um, which is then gave rise to the Xbox 360. Um, in which some cases I actually do believe Sony took a note from Microsoft on that specific console because there is a familiar looking uh, thing to the PS5 with the uh, shape of which it is from the uh, Xbox as well. Um, then again, I'm not complaining, I, I was an Xbox 360 version person, uh, a lot of my favourite games are on the actual 360 itself, but then I obviously decided to go with the PS4 because it was a lot more exclusive on it. Exclusives on it. Um, but the colour, the, the two-tone colour being white and black, I think is very, very nice. Um, I do love the fact that they put the Sony um, uh, print up in the top-hand corner and it's actually see-through. So the light that we see is blue, which is actually reflecting on the inside of the actual console itself. I'm hoping that the, that blue would actually reflect through the, 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 the stamp itself and kind of reflect onto like a flat surface which I think is a pretty unique uh, type of feature to have. Um, when it comes to the actual controller itself, um, I they've definitely copied the Microsoft's controller. They've 100% copied it. Not copied it, sorry, not copied it. Um, they were inspired by it, which is because the Xbox, the Xbox controller is a lot more comfortable to, in your hand than I, for me personally, than the PlayStation controller. Because I tend to have, my hands tend to stiff up after a while that I'm constantly having do that whereas with the Xbox 360 uh, the Xbox one controller it actually sits perfectly into my hand um, having said that I do like the fact that they've actually um, gave the controller more of a, a, an oval look to it that it actually might just sit better in, the, in my hand rather than the, the PS4 um, I'm not going to do specs as I'm actually not a specs person um, but just the overall look of the console itself is very nice I do love the fact that um, they decided to do something different. They push the boundaries when it comes to what next gen should be, and I think next gen to me personally should be something that's futuristic. That's because that's what for me futuristic is. It's next generation. Um, I do like the fact that I do love the layout of it. Now, to be honest with you, I actually do prefer the PlayStation Five digital version simply just due to the fact that it looks like the disc drive is just an add-on feature. 
I think the PlayStation digital version was actually the first console they designed. And you can just, uh, uh, Mario Kart, just, just the way it looks. I think it was, uh, it was I think the place, the, this version seems the, the hardware was just kind of molded onto the console. Um, but obviously I am going to end up getting the, the disc version. This is just due to the fact that I am, uh, I'm, I prefer having the actual disc in the box in my hand than having the visit the, the digital edition. But nonetheless, I think both are absolutely beautiful looking. Obviously, I will give more point, score points more to the digital version just due to the fact how slim uh, and unique it is. Because Sony have actually never done bar the Xbox, bar the sorry the Xbox, bar the PlayStation One. Sony have never done a white console on launch day. Uh, uh, revealed that I don't think we've ever, it's always been black. I think it was black for the PlayStation 2, black for the PlayStation 3, and black for the PlayStation 4. Now, obviously, there was various colors down the line, but it was always black or gray on the daylight. So, I'm, I'm actually delighted Sony decided to push the boundaries with it. Now, there might be a black version because uh, we're late on day, uh, on day of the launch because there is a black controller as well, but um, who knows. Uh, just for as a, just for people who want to know what it looks like lying down, here is a picture of it itself looking down. Um, obviously, I'm going to have this standing because it looks absolutely horrific uh, standing down. Um, I just think it loses, I loses the whole aspect of it having that V shape on the console itself, which is what I actually like. Now, as far as games, there's been seven games in particular that stood out to me. I'm just going to run through some of them. Um, Starting off with Kenya, Bridget of the Spirit, uh, Spirit of the Bridge, I apologise. Uh, this game just looks fun to me. I, the minute I seen it, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting it. Just due to the fact that um, I think it's one of these games where you can you know, just immerse yourself into the into the fable of the whole game. Um, and I feel like this game is actually heavily inspired by the likes of uh, Zelda as well as um, the fable games. Um, Fable games are obviously one of my favorite games because they're just easy and fun and just one of those games where you can just immerse yourself into the whole surrounding and uh, Kenya, Bridge of the Spirits, it's, just, it's one of those games. It just looks absolutely stunning and beautiful. Another game obviously to stand out. Now I forgot all about this game when it came out. Um, I was kicking myself because I wanted to, I would have got the collector's edition for it and that's Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I have a game, my friend is, con one of my other friends are constantly going on to me and say, Chris, you need to play this game, man. You really need to play this game. Just what you can do in it is absolutely amazing. Like, whoever was behind it is an absolute genius. Um, so the minute I seen Forbidden West, uh, Horizon in Forbidden West, and just kind of like the whole submersive area, as well as the cinematic trailer and stuff, I was like, all right, I'm down. I'm definitely going to be getting it. I just think the game itself looks beautiful, as well as there is an appearance from the butler out of John Wick as well as the FBI agent from Fringe. I can't remember his name, uh, but I'm definitely going to be getting him. I'm stoked because of that because he's actually one of my favourite actors. I'm bad with names, even though he's my favourite actor. Now, the next game, obviously, that really caught me attention, or was another game that caught me attention, was uh, Resident Evil. Now, I didn't realise this was actually Resident Evil until they dropped the age and the dot on Village, as you can see from the picture, because the VII I is actually highlighting gold. Then I went, wait, that's eight. Um, so it was Resident Evil 8 and as well as Chris Renfield I think is might be a bad guy in this just simply just due to the fact his appearance looks really dark and he's like he's pissed off he's tired he's just he's just not there he's given up on humanity in a sense so he's killing anything that shows any sign of affection as we've seen from the trailer he shot a child um, which might that did shock quite a lot of people now keep in mind the creators of the game said to keep uh, close attention to this logo as we see here from the screen. Oh, and here's one more piece of key art. You might want to pay extra close attention to this one. Now, I have no idea what this what the, what this logo is trying to say. I had another friend saying that actually could be something to do with Resident Evil 4 because they're actually getting something off Resident Evil 4 of this from just from the vibes. Um, then again, I do know Res 4 is coming out, so that could be something. Now maybe in future down the line there will be um, more hints as to what it is. Now the one game I actually want to talk about and the one game that I am super, super hyped about is Demon Souls. I am a massive FromSoft game uh, fanboy. I'll straight up say that I absolutely love uh, Dark Souls and all stuff. And the one game I never got to play was Demon Souls 
Um, I didn't really hear about it until later because Dark Souls was the game that I actually originally played on. Um, so just a couple of screenshots from the game. Now this is a remaster, uh, as, as some of a remake, uh, the re add a new additional content and stuff like that. But like just the surrounding of it, the, the gothic looking feel to it. That's the one reason why I loved Bloodborne because Bloodborne was just such an immersive, beautiful gothic themed game. Um, the how the character moved was so unique and it made it so and it, when I was playing against people online who were evading me it made co it made PvP so much easier for me so I hate that rolling around crap and I didn't I didn't like that in Dark Souls now obviously I played countless hours of Dark Souls but having that Bloodborne dodging system made the game so much more immersive and enjoyable that I actually fell in love with it so the fact I'm hoping, I'm hoping, depending on what build you have, that you you either have the roll for a knight or like the dodge for somebody who's doing dexterity build. Now I am a dexterity build, so I'm hoping that might be it, but we never know. But like just the immersive background of what we're seeing here at the minute from boss. Now that wing boss, that boss obviously is more updated now. He was he was more of a plain Jane looking back then, but uh, now that he is his own, he's more detailed. There's more features to stand out at him. As well as this game was actually meant to be one of the hardest in the series. Um, which I don't doubt because Dark Souls games tend to punish you. Uh, Souls games tend to punish you quite a bit. In, um, whereas, as they did to me when I first found out. Uh, the, one, the reason, I suppose one of the other reasons why I like uh, FromSoft games. It's kind of more of a metaphor for life in a sense. Is that uh, no matter how many times you get knocked down. You keep getting back up and the more you keep getting back up the more you start getting better and better at life i think that's one of the main reasons why i love from software games because that metaphor is always there no matter how many times you get knocked down get back up and eventually you're over, you will overcome the obstacle and that is basically what from soft games are is you overcoming the obstacle that is life but you're doing it in such you're doing it in a video game style um yeah so i'm really really looking forward to those games now i have all of these pre-ordered as well as the playstation 5 i was literally all about it today um the minute i seen it last night i was the first person in the door i was like yep yeah, i'll let this that and this please um yeah so i'm super looking forward to the the playstation 5 and uh just obviously more trailers for the games i've just mentioned um so if you have any games that stood out to you through the game please hit that comment section down below and uh we'll do a little bit of an interaction with each other and just see what See what you guys overall think and even on your own opinions of the console itself. Um, every gamer is allowed here. doesn't matter whether you're a Nintendo, Microsoft or Sony. As of today, we are gamers and that's what kind of unites us. So yeah guys, I want to say thanks very much for stopping by. I hope you liked this video and uh, until the next video, I hope you have a great day.